Carol here at PowerRackStrength.com HQ in sunny Jacksonville, Florida. I want to do another thank you video for Dr. Stuart McGill. As a lot of you know, Dr. Stu and I met seven and a half years ago, May 2013. And for those who've read Gift of Injury, you know the story. My back was badly beaten up and I was able to, with his help, recover get pain-free, and then get back to training once again. And I had a conversation with Dr. McGill uh, two weeks ago after uh, we talked uh, about the big squat and everything. And I kind of passively said to him, I couldn't have done it without you. I mean, I meant that. And it was kind of obvious, right? And uh, Stu kind of passively said, yeah, I agree. And we both kind of laughed together. Um, so Stu, it means a lot that you chose to work with me and you helped me. You've been so supportive of me all these years. You've helped me out. You've told me things that I didn't want to hear. Um, so for that, I am eternally grateful. Thank you for helping me and helping my family. I wouldn't be here where I am right now um, without you. So I mean that. Um, for those of you who followed along in our story, uh, Gift of Injury, I want to give a couple tidbits as I'm thanking Stu. Things that we talk about pretty often that people are kind of misguided on. You have to become pain-free before you start loading the bar again. It's not pain-free for a couple days because pain-free does not mean your spine, your back, your discs, whatever it is you have going on, does not mean that they're healed. So you need to give it ample time before you progress. Don't get so caught up in progressions and where you are going forward. Be more concerned with having more and more pain-free time throughout the day and pain-free days, pain-free weeks, pain-free months, then you can start thinking about lifting again. But this is not a linear process. It takes a lot of time for some people. Some people are simply only moving well and doing the McGill Big Three for up to a year or so. It takes a long time for your spine to heal and adapt. This is done with proper programming, proper rest periods, and respecting biology and not becoming too aggressive. Remember, this is not like a, a, another joint. You have to treat the back a lot differently than you would a ball and socket joint or a bicep. I mean, hell, three weeks ago I had a surgery and you can see I pretty much have all my range of motion back with that big old scar right there um, that took about two hours to anchor down. So keep in mind whether you had back surgery or not, you have to take your time coming back. There is no magic bullet. There's no magical cure. It just takes time respecting biology, removing the cause, desensitizing, and then slowly building back. And along the way, you can't forget where you came from and just go back to your old movement patterns, your old training program. This we cover at great length and gift of injury, but I can't stress it enough. Comebacks take grit. You're not just going to